about it. Nick, Nick, come here. Well, before tonight's senior boys game, we're now speaking with Josh Zarlingo, the head basketball coach of the Mount Vernon Nolo Warhawks. Uh, coach, tonight you take on Maumel Charter. Your thoughts taken on the Falcons tonight? Man, they're a uh, long, tough, athletic team.
10, push in the back.
All right, stations. Here comes your 60-second cue before we start the senior girls game. 60-second cue in five, four, three, two, one. Mark 60 seconds. Your next cue will be your 45-second cue. Forty-five second cue in three, two, one. Mark forty-five seconds. Your next cue will be a thirty-second cue before broadcast. Thirty-second cue in three, two, one. Mark thirty seconds. Stand by for your final fifteen-second cue. Final 15 second cue in three, two, one. Mark 15 seconds at your final cue. And coming up is Senior Girls Action, Mount Marie Nova, and Mall Mount Charter. <clears throat> A presentation of the Creative Sports Network presents Mount Vernon Enola Lady Warhawks basketball. As tonight, Mount Vernon Enola is here at home at Warhawks Arena taking on the Mall Mount Charter Lady Falcons. Tonight's game is brought to you by Lastly Farms, the Enola General Store, Axles Plus, and by Mount Vernon Feed and Stuff. Everyone, this is Josh Harrison to bring you tonight's senior girls game and after that be senior boys action. But for Mount Vernon Nola, they go into tonight's game with a record of 6-1 and one overall. Pretty impressive record for Mount Vernon Nola. Now taking a look at the record from Mall Mount Charter, the Lady Falcons, they come in tonight's uh, game going to a record of 1-4 uh, and four so far in this early part of the basketball season. Well, we'll go ahead and take a one-minute break, come back and speak with Adam Carlton, the head basketball coach for the Warhawks. This is Mount Vernon Noel, Lady Warhawks basketball on CSN. For tonight's senior girls game, we're now speaking with Adam Carlton, head basketball coach of the Mount Vernon Nola Lady Warhawks. Coach, tonight you take on Mall Mel Charter. Your thought taken on the Lady Falcons? Uh, it's one of our conference games, even though it really isn't a conference game, just because they're in our district tournament. So it's a game we got to come out sure and make sure we play hard. Your thoughts? How your team has played so far? Uh, I've been proud of them the last couple of weeks, or last week or so. We played a little bit better. We went through a little stretch, rough stretch there about two weeks ago, but hopefully we're turning around a little bit. And, of course, we'll be the key tonight get another win. Playing defense. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. And uh, in a minute, we're going to get you the uh, starting lineups before we get this game tipped off in senior girls action. Mount Vernon, no, Lady Warhawks looking like they're going to have another good basketball season. Six and one going to tonight's game. Only one loss. That's pretty impressive so far. And also, after the conclusion of senior girls, we'll bring you senior boys action. Mount Murray Nola taking on Mount Marshall. Let's take it down for the starting lineups.
Well, there you have it, tonight's uh, starting lineups for both teams. Starting for Mount Vernon again is number 33, Kenzie Woodruff, number 11, Kendall Hardy, 23, Gracie Raby, 5, Elena Ellis, and number 20, and Taylor Keithley. Earlier before the uh, this uh, senior girls game in the JV boys, it was Mount Vernon Noah defeating Maumel Charter 48 to 37. So it looks like the Lady Warhawks is out there on the floor ready for the tip off. Tipping off tonight for Mount Vernon Noah is going to be Kendall Hardy, and for a Maumel Charter is number four and Kimberly Silva Nash. All right, here comes the tip-off. It is one here by the Lady Warhawks. Raby now works with it across the floor, swings it over right corner. Now here's Ellis. Back out left side. Here's a three. Good for Raby to start off this basketball game. Three to nothing in favor of the Lady Warhawks. Here's a throw. It's picked away. Now putting up a layup is Elena Ellis. Now a quick five to nothing lead now for Mount Bernie Nola. Now here's Mom Mel Charter. They get it across here in midcourt. Stop for a second, but it is stolen. Raby now takes it down the floor. Right side of the goal, she'll put it up. No good. Rebound by Ellis. Her next shot is no good, but she's going to be fouled. First team foul here for Mom Mel Charter here in this uh, first half. Looks like they'll give the foul to Madeline Love, her first. So Ellis at the line, her first free throw is good. <clears throat> she'll have one more free throw attempt. She hits this next one, she'll have four points in this first, uh, first period of play. Next free throw is good. Ellis now with four points, and now it's seven to nothing in favor of the Lady Warhawks. Here's a pass, picked away Raby, now it gives it to Keithley. Keithley. Now she'll kick it back left side. Here's Raby, goes up for the short jump shot, no good. Rebound next, put up and in here by Kendall Hardy. Her first two, and now nine to nothing here for the Lady Warhawks. Here's Mom Mel Charter with it across mid midcourt. Now they'll swing it over to the right corner, now back out. Here's Mel Knapp. Mel Knapp with it, now she'll throw it over to the right corner. Here's a shot, no good. Rebounded here by Woodruff. Now she'll give it to Raby. Now Raby takes it across here in midcourt, throws it out to the right wing. Now I'll throw it across. Here's a 10-foot jumper, no good for Woodruff. Rebound, here's a shot by Hardy, no good again. Rebounded here by the Lady Falcons. Now they'll bring it across here in midcourt. Pass the belt map. Now they'll throw underneath the go to Nash. Nash nowhere to go. Now she'll throw it out in front. Now they'll move it over to the right side. Loose ball and getting it is Raby on the hustle. Lady Warhawks work with it. Swings it right side. Here's Ellis for three. Too strong on the three-point shot. Rebounded by Hardy. Gives it back to Raby. Raby shot right side and she'll bank it in. Raby now with five. Now a double-digit lead now for the Warhawks, 11 to nothing. Maumel chart the basketball, and they'll travel with it here at midcourt. Gives it back to the Lady Warhawks. Woodruff looks to throw an inbounds to Raby. Now here's Raby with it to forward court. Top the key. Stops, now goes over to Ellis. Back left side, the back side. Here's Hardy, and she'll put up a more like a line drop shot, and she'll bank it in and good. Kendall Hardy, her second field goal, she has four. 13 and nothing here for Mount Vernon Nola. Here's Mom Mel Charter with it. Now they'll throw it back to the right side. Now throw it to Nash right on the go. Now here's a three. It is no good. Loose ball. It is Woodruff coming away with it. Now she'll push it up the floor. Pass right side. Ellis gives inside of Hardy. Back out. Now over to Keithley. Keithley left wing her three. 
Short, no good. Rebounded here by Raby. Raby in trouble. Tries to give it to somebody, and she'll throw it out from her teammates, but it goes out of bounds, and looks like it turns it back over to the Lady Falcons. 5-0-1 left to go here in this opening period of play. Walsh throwing in bounds here. Now they get it back to Walsh. Walsh now with it midcourt. Now it goes over to Whittaker. Whittaker right corner with it. Now throws it back to Walsh. Whittaker again. Now she'll throw it across to the left corner, and the ball will be a wild throw and goes out of bounds. Now it'll be Lady Warhawks basketball. So Woodruff will mound it now to Raby. Raby brings it across, top of the key. Here's Woodruff with it. Holds the basketball, now swings it back over to Keithley. Now back to Raby. Raby makes a cut left side. It goes up for a about an eight-foot jumper. No good. It's rebounded here. Shot is no good here for Harding. They battle for the loose ball again. And uh, looks like it'd be just a tight basketball. No foul. Belongs to the Lady Warhawks. They'll throw in the bounds. Raby, quick shot right side of the go is no good as she hits the floor. She'll be all right. And she was fouled. She'll go to the line shooting two free throws. That'll be the second team foul for the Lady Falcons and the second personal one for Madeline Love. First free throw here for Har for excuse me, Raby is good. She now has six points. She'll have one more free throw attempt. Sub two she coming in for Maumel Charter be number 32, and that'll be Cheyenne Parks. Next free throw here is up and good for Raby. Now it's both of them. She has a seven. Now it's 15 to nothing here for the Lady Warhawks. Walsh brings it across here midcourt. Now goes over to Whittaker right side. Now back over to left, and it is picked away here. Here's Ellis. Bounce pass left side of Keithley. Keithley runs out of space. Now gets it back inside. Here is Hardy, and she'll put it up and in. Hardy now with six. 17 to nothing is our score in favor of Mount Vernon Enola. Walsh now goes over, cross, and is picked away. Hardy had it, but lost control of the basketball. Now here's Nash right side of the goal. They'll move it around to Whittaker. Back to Walsh. Now they go inside. Here's a shot. Partially blocks, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Mount Vernon Nola. It'll be uh, Maumel Charters basketball. Looks like uh, Coach Carlton brings in about a full – I guess he'd call the North Carolina Shuffle. He brought in five new basketball players. Now here's a shot right side, no good. Rebounded here by Job. Now she'll bring it across here to the floor. Pass right side. Back to Job. Now back over the left corner. Here's a three. It is short, no good. Loose ball. It is Walsh with it now for Maumel Charter. Now they'll move it over to Belknap with it. And looks like we're going to have a timeout taken here by Maumel Charter. We'll take a timeout also with 3.10 left to go here in this first period of play. Our score, it is Mount Bernie Nola 17 and Maumel Charter nothing. This is Mount Bernie Nola Lady Warhawks basketball on CSN. Back from the uh, timeout, it'll be Charter, Maumel Charter throwing the ball in bounds. Here is Walsh, top of the key. Now I'll throw it to, over to the right corner to a Whittaker. 
Now they'll move it around to the left corner. Here is Belknap with the basketball. It's a shot no good. They battle for the rebound. We're going to have a foul. They'll give that one to Mount Vernon Noah. That's going to be their first team foul. And it looks like they'll give the foul to, uh, to Riley Sprague, and that will be her uh, first personal foul here tonight. Well, throw in the bounce. Here's a shot up. No good. Rebounded by Job. Kelly Job now brings it across here, the, the forward court. Top of the key. Pass over to the left corner. Sprague. Back to Job. Back to the right. Elise Ellis for a three. No good. They battle with it. Now rebound here by Job. Right side. Looks like that's Brock. Her jumper is off. No good. Loose ball. Saved again here by Sprague. Coming down two minutes in this uh, left to go in this first period of play. Now they'll go to Brock. They give it inside to Booker. Her shot no good. Rebound. Next follow up is good right side by Kayla Job. And that's her first two. Now makes her score 19 to nothing. Looks like we're going to have a uh, foul here. Oh, no foul. Just ball goes out of bounds. One minute and 41 seconds left to go here in this first quarter. It's 19 to nothing in favor of the Lady Warhawks. Now throw it to, to the right. It is picked away. Brock takes it all the way down the floor, and her layup is good. First two tonight for Hannah Brock. Now makes our score 21 to nothing. Now it's Belknap with it, almost lost it, regains it back. But it looks like she'll be caught with a double dribble call and gets it back now for Mount Vernon Nola. Well, for Coach Carlton, brings in some more, a couple more substitutes. Come in the game here is uh, number 32, Bree Moorhart. And number 13 at Abbey Hall. So here's Job. Now goes back over to Sprague. Sprague tries to throw it in traffic to Booker, and looks like we're going to have a push off foul. It's going to be against Maumel Charter. That's going to be their third team foul. First personal foul tonight for Belknap. Not have any fouls here in this first period of play. Coming down with one minute left to go here in the first uh, period. And mount the basketball. More heart now. She'll throw it to the right to Sprague. Now they go over to Booker. Fades it left side of the go. Here is Joe for a jumper. A little bit too much that time. Rebounded here by the Lady Falcons. Bell now throws it down the floor. Here to Walsh. That's Kaylee Walsh. A different Walsh on the team. She goes up for a tough shot, no good. Rebound by Booker, and now she'll give it over to Job. Job now down the floor with the basketball. Swings it right side. Here is Moorhart, her jump shot is good. Oh, 23 to nothing now for Mount Bernie Nola. Belknap with the basketball. Now throws it to Nash. Back over to Walsh. Her three is no good. Loose ball. And it's Sprague coming away with the basketball. Takes it down the floor. Last second shot. Top of the key is no good. And now end our first period. End of the first period of play here at Warhawks Arena. It is the Mount Vernon Noel Lady Warhawks 23. And the Maumel Charter Lady Falcons nothing. This is Mount Vernon Noel Lady Warhawks basketball on CSN.
Well, we start the second period of play. Lady Warhawks working with it. Left side of the go. Here's a shot and good for Raleigh Sprague. Her first bucket. And now it's 25 to nothing here for the Lady Warhawks. Now here is Kaylee Walsh with the basketball. Bowls it in traffic. Back out. Here's a three. It is no good. Rebounded now by Moorhart. Now Moorhart now takes it down the floor. Goes over to Sprague, left corner. Now feed it inside to Hall. Now back away to Sprague. They'll feed it backside, and here's a shot by Job. It is up and good, and she is fouled. So Kaylee Job with her second field goal. That will be the fourth team foul tonight for Maumel Charter here in the first half. Getting the foul is going to be Emma Lackey. So Job has an opportunity to hit this free throw to complete the three-point play. Free throw here is up and good. Job now with five points. And now it's 28 to nothing here for Mount Vernon Enola. Here's Mom L. Charter, works with it to the right side. It is Nash. Now she'll throw it to her teammate. Ball stripped away. More heart. Feeds it down the floor to Sprague. Sprague left side. Her layup here is up. Too strong that time. Rebound. Here's the next follow-up shot. No good again. Rebounded here by the Lady Falcons. Walsh now brings it across here. Now throws it down the floor. Here's a jumper off the left side. No good. Missed that time by Osborne. Now here is Hall with it for the Lady Warhawks. Gives it to Job. Job with it. Now swings it left side. Now back to Job. Top of the key. Moorhart now gives it inside a hall. Moorhart now goes to Booker. Swings it over. Left corner. Here's a three. It is no good. Rebounded here by the by Nash. The Lady Falcons. Now we'll move it down the floor. Walsh cuts left side. Inside the three-point liner. Jumper is short. No good. Loose ball. And as Sprague comes away with it for the Warhawks. Now she'll take it down to the floor. Top the key. Her three-pointer is no good. Rebounded here by Osborne. Now she'll move it down the floor here to the Falcons, but it is tripped away again by Sprague. Now feeds it to the right side to Moorhart. Moorhart with it. Now here's a pass inside for Booker, but goes over the head of Booker and it turns it back over to the Lady Falcons. So here's Walsh, top of the key. Goes up for a tough three-point shot. No good, loose ball. Brock tried to save it from going out of bounds, but a little bit too late. Still stays with Maumel Charter. Tell you what, folks, for a Monday night basketball game, real good attendance here. On the home side, it is uh, three quarters full. And on the visitors, visitors up from Mama Charter, they brought quite a few fans again. Now here's a three. It's up and no good, but it will not count anyways. It looks like traveling with it will be lackey. Gives it back to Mount Vernon Enola. Mount Vernon Enola still playing a shutout. 28 to nothing here in the second period of play. I'll throw it to more heart left corner. Now Keithley with it. Now swings it over to the right side. Now feeds inside to Keithley. Keithley loses it. Now here's the Falcons pitching it down the floor to uh, Walsh. Walsh with a shot. No good. Rebounded by Keithley. Takes it across here in midcourt. More heart. Field goal is no good. Rebounded. Now Walsh down the floor. She'll give it to Emily Walsh. Shot's no good. Rebounded by Keithley with the basketball. Now she'll throw it to Brock. Brock right side. Her layup is good. Anna Brock, her second field goal. She has four. Now it's 30 to nothing in favor of Mount Vernonola. Now I'll throw it in traffic. Nash. Back out to Walsh. Her jump shot is no good. Ball goes out of bounds, and 
They'll give it back to the Lady Warhawks. Casely now goes over to Moorhart. I'll throw it across to the right corner. Now here's Brock with it. Back to Ellis. Good inside of Hall, nothing going that time. Elise Ellis, right wing, her three is no good. And it looks like the ball will be lost out of bounds. Gives it back to Mall Mel Charter. Jovan Booker comes back in the game here for Mount Vernon Nola. Go Emily Walsh with the basketball. Blows it down to the left corner. Here's a three. No good. Air ball, and it goes out of bounds. Now it turns the back, ball back over to the Warhawks. With 3.33 left to go here in the second period of play. So here's Keithley. Pass right side. Now on the inside, here's Booker. A shot is no good. Loose ball. And it'll be Lady Falcons maintaining possession. They'll throw it to the left corner. Now back out in front to Emily Walsh. Nice Kelly Walsh, her jump shot is up and good. Kelly Walsh with the jumper, and that's the first two tonight here for Maumel Charter. Now it's 30 to two. Keithley with it, top of the key. Goes over to Brock. Now back to Keithley. Keithley right corner, her three is good. Taylor Keithley with her first three pointer. First three points for her, and now it's 33 to two. Lady Warhawks. Pass right side. Here's a shot. Short, no good. Loose ball. And with it is Elise Ellis with takes it across the floor. Pass over to Keithley, left wing. Now Keithley cuts over right in front of the go. Now Booker with it. And her little short jump shot is good. Olivia Booker, her first bucket, and now it's 35 to 2. Again, Mount Murray Nola. Falcons with the basketball. We'll throw it back over to Walsh. Walsh cuts in the paint, goes up for the sh shot. Short, no good, and goes out of bounds. So 202 left to go here in the second period. And coming back in on substitution for Mount Vernon Nola will be number 14, Riley Sprague. So they'll mount it to Sprague. She brings it across top of the key. Now it goes over to Brock. Inside to Booker, and her... Left side of the goal, bank in is good. Olivia Booker now with four. 37 to two. Working with it in front is Walsh, goes up for a shot, no good. Now here's Brock with it for the Lady Warhawks. Brock kind of stopped for a second, I almost fouled her. No call, she'll throw it down the floor. Left side, here's a three, it is up, no good. Loose ball and it'll be Lady Falcons basketball. I'll throw it out to the right side. In double team. Working with it is Whittaker. Now here's a shot up. No good. Now it will be Brock with a rebound. Brock now brings it across her midcourt. Now goes over to Sprague. Left corner. Down here. One minute left to go here in this first half. Now that feed inside. Here's Booker and easily puts up a layup. Booker now with six points. Now it's 39 to 2. Not very Nola. Lady Falcons working with it. Walsh away from top of the key. Throws it over to the right corner. Now I'm back out in front. Now Kaylee Walsh with it. I'll cut over to the right side. Here's a shot up. No good. Rebound here by Job. Now Job with it. Now she'll push it across the floor here at midcourt. I'll pass it out to the right side. Now back out to Job. Looks like they're going for the last shot here. Here's Ellis. Back over to Brock, left side of the go. Her shot is short, no good. Here's a shot to Buzzer, and it's up and good by Elise Ellis. And that's going to end our first half. We had the halftime, our halftime score. Here at Warhawks Arena, 
It is Mount Vernonoa 41 and Maumau Charter Lady Falcons 2. We'll take this two-minute break and be back with your halftime. This is Mount Vernonoa Lady Warhawks basketball on CSN. And welcome back here at Warhawks Arena, our halftime score. It is the Mount Vernonoa Lady Warhawks 41 and the Maumau Charter Lady Falcons 2. Summarizing the uh, first half into the uh, first period of play, it was Mount Vernonoa outscoring Ma uh, Maumau Charter 23 to nothing. Second period, again, Mount Vernonoa outscoring Maumau Charter 18 to two. Now look here at the first half individual scoring stats. First off, for the visitors, for the Maumel Charter Lady Falcons, only one player in the scoring column. That's number 33, Kaylee Walsh, with one field goal with two points. Now for the home team, for the Mount Vernon Noah Lady Warhawks, their leading scorer in that first half, well, is our point guard. Number 23, Gracie Raby, two out of two from the free throw line with a field goal and a three-pointer with seven points. Kendall Hardy, three field goals with six points. Number five, Elena Ellis, two out of two for her at the free throw line, a field goal with four points. Taylor Keithley, one three-pointer with three points. Elise Ellis, one field goal with uh, two points. Hannah Brock, a pair of field goals with four points. Riley Sprague, one field goal with two points. Uh, Kaylee Joe, one out one from the free throw line with a couple of field goals with five points. Bree Morehart, one field goal with two points, and Olivia Booker, three field goals with six points. So again, our halftime score, 41 to two in favor of Mount Bernie Nola. We'll take another two minute break and be back with more of your halftime. This is Mount Bernie Nola Lady Warhawks basketball on CSN.
And back here at Warhawks Arena. Again, still halftime. Halftime score 41 to two in favor of Mount Vernon Enola. Right now they're having a, a special presentation here at, at halftime. I was told that a couple of teachers has cancer and, and uh, they're doing like a benefit and they got the little dribblers performing here at halftime, but the uh, benefit they had, they raised $26,000. That's amazing for for one benefit, which was earlier, I believe it was uh, uh, yesterday, I believe, or, or earlier today. But yeah, $26,000 raised in honor of uh, two uh, school teachers, teachers here at Mount Marino that has cancer and we like to offer our condolences and hopefully they can uh, beat this cancer and get back into uh, the rhythm of their lifestyle. So still halftime here and we'll take a uh, another two minute break and be back with hopefully the start of your second half. This is a Mount Marino Lady Warhawks basketball on CSN. And back here at Warhawks Arena, as they just got done uh, doing the uh, presentation here at and midcourt, and now they're uh, relowering the uh, basketball goals, and and we still got uh, they put on the, a little bit more time on the clock, about a little for two minutes left to go before we have the uh, start of the uh, second half. We see Mount Marino's basketball team out on the floor and waiting for that goal to come down so they can uh, get some warm-up shots for this second half. Again, our halftime score, 41-2 in favor of the Lady Warhawks. Impressive first half for them. Well, earlier tonight in the Junior Varsity Boys, and it was Mount Murray Nola, uh, had a pretty close game here against Maumel Charter, but pulled it out and extended the lead at the end as they won 48-37. to It got within uh, five points with... Uh, a minute and a half left to go, but after that, Mount Murray Nola, uh, JV boys, they just extended the lead and got the win, 48-37. Reminder, after the conclusion of this senior girls game, senior boys action. It was, I uh, going to guess, going to be eight, but now since the uh, first half went so quick for Mount Murray Nola, this may be a quick second half. You never know. Uh, they lead right now by 39 points, and uh, – if they're ahead by 30 points to start the uh, fourth period of play, uh, it'll be under the sportsmanship rule, which means the uh, clock would run in the fourth period, unless a timeout is taken by either team. So we're down with one minute left to go. We'll take one more one minute break and have the start of your second half. This is Mount Vernon Nola Lady Warhawks basketball on CSN.
Well, back here at Warhawks Arena, looks like we're about ready for the uh, start here, the uh, second half. So, Lady Warhawks uh, starters are back out on the floor. Went for Maumelle and uh, Maumelle Charters. Now they'll come back on the floor. So they'll throw it in bounds. All right, here we go. Here's Walsh with it for Maumelle Charter. Throws it over to Whittaker, left corner. Now they'll move it to the left side to, to uh, Love. Whittaker, left side, her three is no good, short. Loose ball, it's Job with it. Kaylee Job now bounce pass right side here to Woodruff. Woodruff now swings it over to Moorhart. Now back to Woodruff. Here's Hardy left side, Kendall Hardy. Now they'll give it back to Woodruff. Over to the right side, here's a three, no good for Hall. Rebounded by Hardy, Hardy goes it for a shot, no good, but she'll be fouled. That'll be the first team foul here in the second half for Maumel Charter. Looks like the foul is given to Belknap. That's her second. Again, uh, again, first team foul here in the second half for the Lady Falcons. Free throw here, first one. It is up and short. No good for Kendall Hardy. She'll have one more free throw attempt. Looks like they uh, started the sportsmanship here in the uh, start of the second half. The clock's still running here. Second free throw, and it is good. Seven points for Kendall Hardy. Now it's 42 to two. 40 point lead now for the Lady Warhawks. Here's the Lady Falcons with the basketball. I'll move it over to the left side to Whittaker. Now back away to Walsh. Whittaker left corner. Back to Walsh. Now I'll move it over to the right side now in traffic. Here's a shot up and good. Well, made that time. I believe that was Haley Whittaker. That's our first two. Now it's 42 to four in favor of Mount Murray Nola. Woodruff now goes over to Hardy. Now over to the left side. Here is Hall. Hall's jump shot is no good. Rebounded here by Job. Now Job brings it out. Now goes over to Woodruff. Swings it to Moorhart. Left side, her three is good. Bree Moorhart, her first three tonight. She has five points. Now it's 45 to four is our score. Here's a toss and is picked off and taken all the way and layup is up and good by Kendall Hardy. Kendall Hardy now with nine points. Now 47 to four is our score. Now we get back to Walsh, top of the key, over to Belknap. Right corner. We'll swing it right side. Here's a shot up, no good. Ball is not loose and it goes out of bounds and looks like it turns it back over to the Lady Warhawks. So, throwing in bounds. Here's a pass left side. Uh, looks like it's caught here by, I believe that's Hall, and I think she is pushed and foul. No correction, that's Sprague. Second team foul here in the second half for Maumelle. That's the third here for Madison Belknap. Throwing in bounds, here is Job underneath the goal. Her shot is no good, but looks like she'll be fouled. Third team foul here for the Lady Falcons. So, Kaylee Job at the line, and she'll shoot uh, two free throws. First free throw is good. Job now with six points tonight. She'll have one more free throw attempt. Next free throw, and good again. Nails both of them. She has seven points, and now it's 49 to four. 45 point lead here for Mount Vernon Enola. Walsh with it, throws it to the Whittaker left side. Bounce pass. Here's a shot by Belknap, no good, and the ball goes out of bounds. Still stays with Maumelle Charter. So throw it in bounds. Whittaker back over to Love, left side. 
Oh, swing it back to the right side of Walsh. It deflected off her body and goes out of bounds and gives it back now to Mount Vernon Nola. Still throwing in bounds. Here with the basketball is Hall. Hall top of the key. Throws it left side. More Hart for a three-pointer and good. That's More Hart's second three tonight. She has eight points. Now it's 52 to four is our score in favor of the Lady Warhawks. Whit take the left corner. She fires a three-pointer. It is off. No good. It goes out of bounds and gives it back here to the Lady Warhawks. So more heart with it. Takes it down the floor. Top the key. Now it goes over to the right corner sprite. Now back to more heart. Now they go inside underneath. And here's a quick layup. No good for Job. Rebounded here by Booker. Her shot's no good. Loose ball again, and it is Lady Falcons. They'll take it down the floor. Whittaker with the shot. And it's blocked, and the ball goes out of bounds. Still stays with uh, well, Momel Charter. So throwing in bounds, right side. Here's a three here by Walsh, no good, but looks like she is foul behind the line and she'll shoot, uh, I believe, three free throws. That'll be the first team foul here in the second half for the Lady Warhawks. Just leaving the foul, looks like it'll be Bree Moorhart and it'll be her first. First free throw here for Kaylee Walsh is no good. Her second free throw, and this one is rose off with the rim, no good again. She'll have one more attempt, our third attempt. Free throw here is up and good. And Walsh now with three points. Now it's 52 to five. Eddie Warhawks with the ball in the uh, lead. As we come down with one minute left to go here in this third period. Left side, here is Joe. Now dribbles around the perimeter. Now she'll give it back over to Sprague. Sprague with the basketball. Bounce pass back over to Moorhart. Now Job, left corner. Throws it back across right to the left side, and it's a wild pass. Goes over the head of Hall. Now gives it back to the Lady Falcons. Looks like Coach Carlton makes some more substitutions. Bringing in Elena Ellis and uh, Keithley. As the original starters haven't seen much playing time. Just a little halfway in the uh, first period, and that's about it for the starters. Here's a three left side and is up and good. I believe hitting that was Kaylee Walsh. She now has six. Now it's 52-8 to eight in favor of Mount Vernon Nola. Elena Ellis. Now back over Lisa Ellis. Keithley. Keithley with the basketball. Under 10 seconds. Here's Elena Ellis. Now they go inside to Booker. Back over. No, the shot's no good. Now Brock throws it back, and time expires before they can get the shot off. And we've come to end of three periods of play. Our score here at Warhawks Arena, it is the Mount Bernie Nola Lady Warhawks 52. And the Mall Mount Charter Lady Falcons 8. We'll take this one-minute break and be back with your fourth period. This is Mount Vernon Nola Lady Warhawks basketball on CSN. Well, we start the fourth period of play. Here's Mount Vernon with the basketball, and it looks like they're going to lose it and turns it back over 
to uh, Maumel Charter. Well, in that third period, as it was Mount Vernon Hill outscoring Maumel Charter 11 to 6. There's a lead currently 52 to 8. Now Lady Falcons with it, loses the ball, a scramble, and looks like it's lost out of bounds. Still stays with Maumel Charter here. As we just started, the fourth period of play. Throw it out left side. Working with it is Lackey. And losing the backcourt. And loose ball ends. Picked up here by Mount Vernon Nola. Taking it down the floor is Keithley. Her layup's no good. Now here is Elena Ellis. Goes up for a shot. And I guess uh, no foul at time as it just goes out of bounds. Where it was partially blocked. I'll throw it out to the right side, Lackey. Over to Nash. Her three-pointer is no good. Rebounded here by Elise Ellis. Brings it across the floor. Throws it over. Elena Ellis for a long three. It is no good. Rebounded here by the Lady Falcons. Love with the basketball. Takes it up the floor. Here's Walsh, tries to throw it back to Lackey, a wild pass, and it looks like his last touch by Mount Vernon. It still stays with the Lady Falcons. More substitutes coming in here for Mount Vernon, and back in the game will be one of the original starters will be uh, Gracie Raby. So, Lady Falcons throws in bounds. Now they'll go over to Kaylee Walsh, left corner. She's driving inside. Now she'll throw it back out. Now here is Emily Walsh. Here's a shot up, no good. And the ball will, after it's missed, grow out of bounds and give it back to the Lady Warhawks. Raby throws out to Moorhart. Now they'll swing it back to Sprague. Sprague right side of the go. A lot of traffic that time and looks like we're gonna have a foul here. It'll be against Maumel Charter. That's going to be their fourth team foul. Third tonight for Madeline Love. A little throw in the bounce. Sprague now back to Moorhart, top of the key. Hall now to move it around. Sprague left corner makes a cut to the right. Now gets it to Moorhart. Moorhart for a three. It's off. No good. Rebounded here by the Lady Falcons. Now they'll take it down the floor. Throw it out to the right corner. Here's Nash. They try. She tries to throw it back to her teammate, but it's deflected and goes out of bounds. Last touch by Mount Marinella. It will be uh, Lady Falcons basketball. Under four and a half minutes left to go here in this fourth period of play. Now here's Lackey. Goes up for a jump shot. Goes left side of the uh, go. No good. But saved here by the Falcons. They fire another three-point shot. And that's Kaylee. Kaylee Wallace, no good. Rebounded by the Raby. Raby brings it across here midcourt. Throws it right side. Sprack back to Raby. Raby fires a long three. It's off. No good. Rebounded here by the Lady Falcons. Now they'll throw it down the floor. Right side. Here is Emily Walsh. Now back to Lackey. Her jump shot's no good. I'll go try to save before we're going out of bounds, but a little bit too late. Take it back to Maumel Charter. Still on the bound of the basketball. Here's Kelly Walsh for a three. No good again. Rebounded here by Raby. Gracie Raby takes her time. Brain across the floor. Throws it over to Moorhart. Moorhart left corner. Back to Raby. Inside, wide open. Here's a layup and good by Kaylee Job. Job now with nine. Now it's 54 to eight. Now off on the bounds, and it looks like it was knocked out. And it looks like uh, one of the players here for the Lady Falcons kicked the basketball, but the official didn't call anything. Still, uh, Maumel Charters basketball. So Lady Falcons with it. 
Throws it out to the left side. Here's Love. Back out to Lackey. Lackey loses it, and it'll go out of bounds. Get it back to Mount Vernon Nola. And our score is still 54 to 8 in favor of the Lady Warhawks. We've got a substitution coming in here for Maumel Charlie. Be number 15, Hannah Osborne in the game. As she comes in for Emily Lackey. So they'll swing it left side. Here is Joe for a three. Short, no good. Rebounded here by Booker. Shots no good. Her second chance shot is up, no good again. Loose ball. It's more heart saving it. Now she'll throw to Sprague. Sprague left corner now cuts right inside the paint. Goes up for the short jump shot. No good. Rebounded. Here from the Lady Falcons. Taking it down the floor. A minute and a half left to go in tonight's senior girls game. Wild pass here for the Lady Falcons and gives it back to Mount Vernola. So throwing in bounds. Hall. Top of the key. Goes over the left corner to Morehart. Now back to Hall. Hall's jump shot is up and no good. They battle for a loose ball, and it's going to be Lady Falcons. They'll throw it down the floor to Osborne. Pass out left side and over the head of Whittaker and gets it back again to Mount Vernola. Under a minute left to go here in the fourth period. They'll throw it in bounds. Here with it is Moore Hart, bringing it across here to the forward court, swings it over to Job. Back over to the right side of Hall, and a wild pass here by the Lady Warhawks, and now gives it back to the Lady Falcons. So Belknap with the basketball. Swings it over to the left side to Love. Love with it, back to Belknap. Now let's swing it to the right side. Here is a shot up, no good. Rebounded here by Job. Job takes it down the floor. Top of the key. Ten seconds left. Is it inside real quick? Here's a quick layup, no good for Hall. Loose ball. Sprague now with it and loses it. Out of bounds and time expires. Well, our final score tonight as the Mount Vernon Lady Warhawks defeat the Maumel Charter Lady Falcons 54 to 8. So with a win for Mount Vernon Noah, they improved to 7 and 1 on the season. We'll take a, a two minute break, come back and wrap it up. This is Mount Vernon Noah Lady Warhawks basketball on CSN.
And back here at Warhawks Arena, again our final score as Mount Vernonilla defeats Maumel Charter 54-2-8. Again, as we told you, Mount Vernonilla as they the win, they improved to 7-1 on the season and still still having a great record and a great team going. A lot of talent this year for the Lady Warhawks. Well, a look at the scores. Well, uh, finish with the uh, most scores, a tie between Kaylee Job and uh, Kendall Hardy, both with a total of nine points. Uh, no players from Mount Vernon in double digits, just a great all-around team effort. Bunch of all, um, uh, quite a bit of players got in the scoring column. Bree Moorhut off the bench, she had a great night, uh, a pair of three-pointers with a field goal with eight, uh, eight points, and uh, Olivia Booker, three field goals with six points. Gracie Raby, and she finished with a total of seven. So coming up next, we'll have senior boys action, Mount Vernilla taking on Maumel Charter. Tonight's Mount Vernilla Lady Warhawks basketball has been brought to you by Lastly Farms, the Enola General Store, Axles Plus, and by Mount Vernon Feed and Stuff. This is Josh Harrison saying once again our final score tonight in senior girls action. It was Mount Vernilla 54 and Maumel Charter 8. So long for just a while here at Warhawks Arena. This has been a presentation of the Creative Sports Network. Yeah, you got the uh, Maumel Charter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who's starting? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Two. There you go. Thank you, Gracie. All right, here we go in one minute cue before we start and mark 60 seconds. Your next cue is gonna be your 45 second cue before we start senior boys action. 
Here comes your 45 second cue before we start. In three, two, one. Mark 45 seconds. Your next cue will be your 30 second cue. Thirty second cue in three, two, one. Mark thirty seconds. Stand by for your final fifteen second cue before broadcast. Final fifteen second cue in three, two, one. Mark fifteen seconds at your final cue. And coming up next is boys action, Mount Vernon Noah and Marmel Charter. A presentation of the Creative Sports Network presents Mount Marinola Warhawks Boys Basketball. As tonight, Mount Marinola is here at home at Warhawks Arena taking on the Maumel Charter Falcons. Tonight's game is brought to you by Lastly Farms, the Enola General Store, Axles Plus, and by Mount Vernon Feed and Stuff. Hey everyone, this is Josh Harrison here once again at Warhawks Arena here at Mount Marinola High School getting you set for boys action as it should be a good one. We'll go ahead and take this break. When we come back, we'll speak with uh, Josh Zarlingo, the head basketball coach for the Warhawks. This is Mount Vernon Nola Warhawks Boys Basketball on CSN. Well, before tonight's senior boys game, we're now speaking with Josh Zarlingo, the head basketball coach of the Mount Vernon Nola Warhawks. Uh, coach, tonight you take on Maumel Charter. Your thoughts taken on the Falcons tonight? Man, they're a uh, long, tough, athletic team. They play guy within nine or ten points, so it'll be a battle all night. Um, I know they kind of had a letdown against uh, White County, and we played them here close. But um, you don't uh, underestimate teams like that because they will come out and get after you. Your thoughts of how your team's played so far? Man, they give me everything they've got. Uh, a couple better coaching um, calls here and there, and we, we could be undefeated throughout this season. Of course, final question, what will be the key to get a win tonight? Uh, stay down on defense and defend. Thanks, Coach. Good luck today. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now let's take you down for tonight's starting lineups. Again, starting for the for the Warhawks will be number five, uh, 
Logan Adcock, number 23, Ethan Brantley, number 30, Jasper Lashley, number 11, and Josh Leggett, and number 31 in Canyon Martin. Earlier in the girls' game, if you missed it, it was all Warhawks winning that one uh, by a score of 54 to 8. And then in our, uh, that was our second game. First game, when we got here, it was JV Boys as it was the boys winning by a score of 48 to 37. So Mount Vernon is trying to make it a clean sweep and trying to get a win in this uh, last game, which is the senior boys. Tipping off here tonight here for the Warhawks going to be Kenyon Martin and for Maumel Chart is going to be El Gamin. Here's a tip off. It is one here by the Falcons. They work with the basketball. Fudge with it. Now they'll flip it back over here to Pease. Now here's Pease with it. Right around the free throw line. Jump shot's no good. Rebounded here by Jasper. Now Jasper Lashley now gives it to Brantley. Brantley left corner. Now here's Leggett. Swings it over to Lashley right side. Lastly with the basketball. Gives it inside. Martin loses it, and he'll lose it out of bounds. Last touch here by the Falcons. Still stays with the Warhawks. Adcock throws in bounds. Leg it. Back over to Brantley. Brantley with a three. Short, no good. Hit from part of the rim. Now Fudge, no look pass, so he'll kick it out. Oh, picked away to Adcock. Adcock throws it up the floor. Martin, Martin left side. All the way, his lap's no good. Rebounded here. Lastly, shot right side of the go is no good again. Now rebounded here by the Falcons. Now I'll swing it over, right left side of the go. Now here is Pease with it, top of the key. Pease now goes over to the right side. Here's Holland. Back over to Swear. Now Fudge with it left corner. Fudge now penetrates the lane, goes up for the shot, and good. Justin's Fudge, first two, and first uh, two points here for the Falcons. They lead two to nothing. Martin feeds it inside. Ball is not loose. Well, I mean, when it brings it down the floor. Now swings it out. Here's Swear. Jump shot no good. Martin couldn't hold on to it. Now El Amin goes up for a jump, no jump shot, and good. His first two, now it's four to nothing in favor here of Maumel Charter. Brantley with the basketball. Tries to feed inside, a lot of traffic, knocks it loose. Now Pease Danes brings it down the floor, right side will go. We're gonna have a tight basketball. Gives it back now to the Warhawks. Well, throwing in bounds. I'll throw it down the floor here to Lastly. Lastly, right side. Little spin move. Goes over to Martin. Martin puts it up and in. Kenyon Martin's first two. Now it's four to two. Two point lead now for the Falcons. Fudge now throws it out to Pease. Here, though, I mean with a three top of the key. No good. Rebounded here by Pease. Kicks it out. Almost picked away. Deflection here by Leggett, but goes right into Pease. Pease with it, left wing. Now they'll go back out to Fudge. Fudge now penetrates the lane. And we're going to have traveling for Fudge for the Falcons. Gives it back now to the Warhawks. So Adcock will throw in the bounds here. Goes over to Lastly. Lastly with it, right side. Back to Adcock. Adcock cuts left. Feeds it inside. Again, it's El Amin with the pick away in the traffic, and looks like we're going to have a foul before the shot. Then the foul be Logan Adcock to be his first personal foul, first team foul here tonight for Mount Vernon Enola. Bees will throw it in bounds. Throws it out here to Fudge. They'll move it over to Pease, right side, right corner. Now back out in front, top of the key. 
Out right side of Pease. Pease right side of the goal. Now they move it back out to Fudge. Now here's a shot in front of the goal. Off the left, no good. Rebounded by Leggett. Leggett now will take it down the floor. Pass over here to Adcock. Adcock right corner, now cuts left. Now gets it lastly. Brantley with the basketball. Brantley gets around this rimmer. Now they go up, it's caught. Now here's Lassa going for a shot, no good, but he'll be fouled. They'll give that foul to Bobby Swear. That's his first, first team foul for Maumel Charter. So Jasper Lassley at the line shooting two. First free throw is good. That's his first point tonight. He'll have one more free throw attempt here at the line. And this one is, ooh, rolls off, lift the rim, no good. We're going to have a foul after battling for that loose ball after the shot was missed. Given the ball, Mount Charter to be their second team foul. First personal foul here for Holland. Inbound the basketball to Martin. Martin going up for a shot, and it looks like he has fouled. So picking up this foul will be Brandon Elamine. That's going to be his first. Third team foul for Maumel Charter. First free throw for Martin is no good. He'll have one more free throw attempt. Second one, and oh, man, misses the second one again. Currently a one-point lead here for Maumel Charter, four to three. Here's a three-pointer, no good. Getting loose ball is Martin, Kenyon Martin. Pass right side. Here's Brantley. Oh, and looked like Brantley kind of drug one of his foot, and they're going to call that a traveling call and gives it back now to the Falcons. As we're midway here in this first period of play, low scoring in this uh, game so far. Now here's Fudge with it down the floor, right side. Now throws it back out in front. Here's a shot up and good. Made here by Holland, his first two. Three-point lead now for Maumel Charter, six to three. Brantley, right corner with the basketball. Brantley gets around the defender. His shot is up, no good. Rebounded now by the Falcons. Now they'll take it down the floor. Left side, here's Peace for a three-pointer. Air ball caught here by Lastly. Lastly throws it across, but it's deflected and putting up is Peace. Ronnie Peace, first two. Now it's eight to three. Five-point lead now for the Maumel Charter. Driving right side, here's a shot up, and it is no good, but looks like they're gonna call a charge against Logan Adcock. Well, Mount Vernon will be their second team foul, second tonight for Adcock. So the Falcons throw the ball in bounds. Here's Fudge with it. Moves it across the, on the floor. Left side, his shot is partially blocked, goes out of bounds. Last nice touch by the Warhawks. Still stays with Maumel Charter. So Ronnie Pease looked to inbound the basketball. Low inbounds, now a little fudge. Fudge in front of the goal, his shot is up. No good, rebound him by him again. His shot is no good, but he has fouled. Third team foul for Mount Vernon Noah. They're gonna give this foul to Jacob Moich. So it'll be his first. First free throw here by Fudge is good. He has three points tonight. He'll have one more free throw attempt. Next one, and this one is off, no good. Rebounded here, nine to three. They throw it down to Martin. Martin goes up for the layup, right side is good. Martin second field goal, he has four. Now four point lead for the Falcons. They'll feed it to the right, here's a shot up, and good. And we're gonna have a foul after, after he made that shot. 
Jasper lastly with the reach in. He that's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul for the Warhawks. Free throw is up, no good. Rebounded. Here is Brantley down the floor. Brantley cuts over the left corner. Gives it back to Martin. Martin now cuts, a little spin move, Martin. Now here is Moix, Moix left side. Now back out in front to Brantley, Brantley. Now they'll go over to Howard. Howard goes to Airborne for a shot, it's no good, but looks like he is fouled. So Howard off the bench, he'll go to the line shooting two. For Maumel Charter, that's gonna be their Foul for them, that will we'll give that one a swear. That's a second. First free throw for Wayless Howard is no good. He'll have one more free throw attempt. Next free throw, and this one is good. That's Harris' first point. Now it's 11-6, uh, five-point lead now for Fudge. Fudge now takes it down the floor. Now here's Pease. Pease now circles in front. Now I'll hand it off to one of the teammates. Right corner. Now the pass deflected, loose ball, but saved here by Ball Mill Charles. They'll swing it out to the left wing. Now here's a three. It is up and good. Made by Fudge. Justin Fudge, he now has six. Now it's 14 to six, our score. Here's Brantley working with the basketball. Dribbles over to the right corner. Breaks a double point. Double, double team. Here's a shot up. No good for Brantley. Rebounded by Martin. Martin. Puts up, puts a shot up, and good. Martin now with six. Six-point lead now for Maumel Charter, 14-8. Now they'll drive it in the paint. Here's a shot up, no good. Looks like uh, he will travel with it and gets it back now to Mount Vernon, Noah. Minute 15 left to go here in the first period. Moix inbounds the basketball here to Martin. They'll throw up the floor to Brantley, a wild throw to Brantley, and it turns it back over to the Falcons. So throwing in bounds now. Here's Fudge. Tuts in the front. His shot here is up, no good. It's the uh, rebound or the quick tipping is up and good for Fudge. He now has eight. Now it's 16 to eight's our score. Favor the Falcons. Under a minute left go here in this first period. Shifting, here's Brantley. Three-pointer is up and good. Ethan Brantley, his first three-pointer. Now a five-point lead here for the Falcons. They try to throw it to the right side. Here's a three, and it is good. Eight-point lead again here for the Falcons, 19-11. Brantley with the basketball. And it's stolen by Pease. Pease now throws it to his teammate. Now back to Pease. His lap is no good, but it looks like he's going to be fouled. For Mount Vernon Noah, that's going to be their, their fourth, uh, looks like their fourth team foul. Brantley with the reach in foul. First free throw here is up and good for Pease. He now has three points. He'll have one more free throw attempt. Next free throw, and this one is good. Pease now with four. Now it's a 10-point lead for the Falcons, 21 to 11. Brantley with the basketball. Now moves it over left side, stops. Short jump shots, no good. Rebounded here. By Howard, he puts it up, no good again. Now Howard's a rebound again, and time will expire. Well, we come to the end of the first period of play, and our score here at Warhawks Arena.
It is the Maumel Charter Falcons 21 and the Mount Vernon Enola Warhawks 11. We'll take this one minute break and be back with your second period. This is Mount Vernon Enola Warhawks boys basketball on CSN. Well, back here at Warhawks Arena, as we uh, start the second period of play, it'll be the Falcons of Maumel Charter thrown in bounds as they control a 10-point lead, 21-11. to 11. Here's Fudge with the basketball. Now I'll toss it over to Swear. Now they go inside Holland. Back to El Amin. Now here's a shot up, and it is good. It, and that one is Holland. He now has four. Now Howard takes it down the floor. Now goes over. Here is Moitz for a three-pointer and good for Jacob Moitz. His first three points. Now it's 23-14. Nine-point lead now for, for the Falcon. Shot is up. No good for Fudge. They battle for the rebound. And we're going to have a tight basketball and gives it back to Maumel Charter. Jasper lastly checks back in the game as it comes in for Simpson. So Leggett throws in bounds here to Moix. Moix with it, gets around a couple of players. Now if he's underneath, here's Lynn Hensley's shot, no good. Rebounded by Pease. Now he'll give it over. I mean down the floor. But Pease with it once again. Well, I mean, right side, his three-pointer is no good. Here's Howard with it. Races down the floor. Howard going up for a shot, and the ball goes out of bounds. No foul. Still stays with the Warhawks. So throw throwing bounds. Here's a shot up by Hensley. It's no good, but he is fouled. So Hensley will be at the line shooting two. For Maumel Charter, that's going to be their 16 foul. First one here for Ronnie Pease. So Hunter Hensley at the line shooting two. First free throw is no good. He'll have one more free throw attempt. And this next one is no good. Hensley most misses both of them, rebounded here. Ah, Hollins. Here's Pease with it here. Now it gives it a fudge. Okay, El Camine, El Camine almost had it, overran the basketball, and it goes out of bounds, turns it back over to the Warhawks. Six forty left to go here in the second period. It's 23 to 14, favor of the Falcons. Now driving with it is Howard, Howard goes up for a reverse layup here for the Warhawks, no good. Well, I mean with it. Now throws it over to the right side. Now he's going inside to Holland. His turnaround shot, short, no good. Rebounded by Leggett. Now Leggett throws it down the floor to Howard. Howard, right side. Goes over to Leggett. Here's Moix, three-point shot. It's good. Jacob Moix, his second three, he has six. Now a six-point lead now for the Falcons, 
Here is Pease. Now throw it back away. Now Pease with it again. Now Fudge, right side, goes up for a shot, no good. Rebounded here by Lastly. Jasper Lastly now feeds it over to the left side to Moix, down to Howard. Howard makes a sidestep, his layup is good. Wayless Howard now has three, and we have a timeout taken here by Maumel Charter. With five minutes and 30 seconds, 37 seconds left to go, our score here in the second period, it is the Ball Mel Charter, Falcons 23, and the Mount Vernon Nola Warhawks 19. This is Mount Vernon Nola Warhawks Boys Basketball on CSN. Back here to action, and here with his Mount Vernonola. After a missed shot here by the Falcons, and a three is up by Jacob Moritz. It bounces off the rim and goes over the backboard, so it'll be out of bounds. So now here is Maumel Charter working with the basketball. Still a four-point lead here for Maumel Charter, 23-19. Now they work it over to the right wing. Loose ball, saving it is lastly before going out of bounds. Now he'll give it back to Moix. Moix over to Leggett. Leggett, now they go inside to Hensley. Almost lost and jumping up and grabbing it. Oh, I mean, brings it down the floor. Swings it out to the right side. Here's a three, no good. Now here's a shot up and rolls off no good again. And Falcon still maintain possession. Here's a shot, and it'll be rebounded here by the Warhawks by Leggett. Now he'll take it down the floor. No look pass, left side. Here is Howard going up for the shot, and no good. Rebounded here by Fudge. Or correction by Elkamy. Now they'll go down the floor. Here's a layup and good by Holland. Holland now with six. 25-19 is our score. Six-point lead now for the Falcons, here's a layup, no good here by Moix. Now they'll take it up in the floor. Here's a quick shot, right side, and good by Fudge. Fudge now with a 10 points. Howard with it, right side, his shot is up, no good, and we're going to have a whistle and a foul. For Maumel Char, that's going to be their seventh team foul. Looks like the uh, second tonight for Avery Holland. So a one-on-one -on -one situation here for Wace Howard. Free throw here is up and good. He now has four points. He'll have one more free throw attempt. Second free throw and this one is good. Howard now with five points. Now it's a six-point lead now for Maumel Charter, 27 to 21. Now here's a three right corner. It is no good. Rebounded here. Here's Moix taking it down the floor. Left side. Now it goes to Leggett. Leggett back over. Canyon Martin goes up for a shot. Left side to go. No good, but he'll be fouled. He'll go to the line shooting two. So for the Falcons, be their eighth team foul. Second one tonight for El Amin. Martin's first free throw is good. 
After making that, Martin now with seven. He'll have one more free throw attempt. Next one here, and this one is good. He nails both of them. Martin now with eight. Now puts a lead back down four points here for four-point lead for the Falcons, 27-23. Logan Adcock will come back in the game here. Here's Fudge with it midcourt, throws it across, and a wild pass goes over the head of Holland and gives it back to Mount Marinola. Here's Leggett now back to Adcock. Adcock with the basketball. Martin back up to Adcock. Adcock goes inside. His layup is too strong that time. Now I mean with the basketball. Now we go to Fudge. Left side. Here's a three. Short, no good. Here's a rebound and put up and in by Elka Mean. He now has four. Here's Howard taking it down the floor. He goes for a shot. No good, but he'll be at the line shooting two. Justin Fudge caught the foul. That'll be his first tonight. 19 foul here for the Falcons. So Howard at the line shooting two. First free throw is good. Howard now with six tonight. He'll have one more free throw attempt. Next one, and this one rolls off lifted rim, no good. And battle for the basketball, we'll have a tight basketball. And it looks like it gets it back to the Falcons. Two forty-four left to go here in this second period of play. It's 29-24, five-point lead currently for the Falcons. Now I throw it across the fudge. Left side, here's a shot up and good for Holland. He now has eight. Now it's 31 to 24. Howard now, no look past left side. Here's Leggett for a three. It's off no good, but rebound and put it up and in is Kenyon Martin. Martin now with 10. Back to a five-point lead here for the Falcons. Y'all thought about Elkamine. Now a little swinging over right side. Holland with it. Goes up for a shot, no good. Loose ball. Saved by Martin for around the bounce, but it goes right in the hands of a player for the Falcons, and we're going to have a foul here at midcourt. Caught with the foul be Howard. That's going to be his first personal foul, and it'll be the 15th foul tonight for the Warhawks. So Falcons throws it in bounds. Swings it over to the left corner. It'll go over to Fudge, Fudge right side. Back out, quick move. And El Amin goes up for a shot and good. He has six. Now it's 33-26 our score. Brantley controlling the basketball here for the Warhawks. Driving left side, loses control of it and the Falcons picks it up. Now they'll bring it down the floor. Beat it left side, here's a shot, no good. Next one is up and good here, and now it's 35-26. Nine-point lead. Now here, takes it down the floor, and here's a nice layup that time by Moix. He has eight. Now taking down the floor, it's Fudge, and he's going to be caught with a charge. It's going to be his second personal foul, tenth team foul for Maumel Charter. 101 left to go here in this first half. They'll throw on the bounds. Here's Howard. Howard takes it down the floor, makes a sidestep to the left, and goes for a shot, and it is good. And Howard is fouled. Looks like they'll give that one to Avery Hall on his third personal foul. So Howard will try to hit this free throw and complete three-point play. 
Free throw here is up and no good. Misses the free throw attempt. Rebound to L.I. Main brings it down the floor. Moves it out to Fudge. 35 to 30 is our score. Five point lead here for Maumel Charter. Now they'll slip over to the right side. Fudge with the basketball. Looks it to his teammate. Now the main goes up for the layup left side and good. He has eight. Now it's 37-30. Seven point lead now for the Falcons. Moix goes over to Martin. Now flips it over to the right side to Leggett. Lastly, gets it to Martin. Martin makes a cut over. Now it goes over to Leggett. Leggett in trouble. Back to Martin. Martin for a jump shot is up no good and time expires. Now end our first half. We had the halftime. Our halftime score here at Warhawks Arena. It is the Maumel Charter Falcons 37 and the Mount Bernie Warhawks 30. We'll take this two-minute break and be back with your halftime. This is Mount Bernie Noah Warhawks Boys Basketball on CSN. And back here at Warhawks Arena, it's halftime in the senior boys game. Our halftime score, it is the Mama Charter Falcons 37 and the Mount Murray Nola Warhawks 30. Summarizing the first half in the, one, in the uh, first period of play, it was uh, Mama Charter outscoring Mount Murray Nola 21 to 11. Second period, different story. Mount Murray Nola outscored Mama Charter 19 to 16. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the first half individual scoring stats uh, for the visitors for the Maumel Charter Falcons. Early in scoring that first half, number five, Justin Fudge, one out of two from the free throw line. Looks like he had one three-pointer and a few uh, field goals. He had ten points in that first half. Also on scoring, number three, Avery Holland. He had four field goals with a total of eight points. Uh, Brandon El Amin. He had four field goals with eight points also. And uh, number 23, Ronnie Pease, uh, two out of two from the free throw line with a field goal with four points. Now for the Mount Murray Nola Warhawks, our leading scorer in that first half, Canyon Martin. He was two out of four from the free throw line. He had one, two, three, four field goals as he had ten points to lead his team in the half. Uh, off the bench, Jacob Moix, a pair of three-pointers and a field goal with eight points. Also off the bench, Wayless Howard. He also had a, a, a great second period as he uh, shot seven times at the free throw line. 
as he is a 4-3 from the free throw line with a couple of field goals with eight points. And Ethan Brantley, one three-pointer with three points. So that's a look at the scores here at the half. We'll take another two-minute break and be back with more. Again, our halftime score is Maumel Charter 37 and Mount Vernonola 30. This is Mount Vernonola Warhawks Boys Basketball on CSN. And back here at Warhawks Arena, and we see that uh, Maumel Charters basketball team is out of the locker room, getting warmed up for the second half. Still waiting for Mount Marinoa boys team to come out of the locker room. 37-30, and we still got about a little over three minutes left to go here before we have the uh, start of this uh, second half of, of games. Well, in our first game here at Warhawks Arena at 5.30, it was a uh, uh, JV boys action. And it was Mount Bernie Noah pulling it out and defeating Maumel Charter. I scored 48-37. In our second game was senior girls game as it was all Mount Bernie Noah as they defeated Maumel Charter 54-28. Wow, what a game that time for the senior girls. So Mount Vernonola trying to find a way to get back within this game and try to get a win, and Mount Vernonola would like to have a clean sweep here tonight at home at Warhawks Arena. So we'll go ahead and take uh, one more two-minute break, and when we come back, we'll have to start your second half. This is Mount Vernonola Warhawks Boys Basketball on CSN.
Well, back here at Warhawks Arena, looks like we're about ready for the uh, start of the second half. See some of the officials here at midcourt trying to dribble with their feet. <laughs> See Garrett trying to look back like a soccer player. <laughs> All right, looks like uh, we're about ready as uh, both teams back out on the floor. So it'll be, late, uh, it'll be uh, Mount Vernon Noah's basketball to start here in the second half. As it'll be uh, Jacob Moyes will throw it in bounds here. Goes over to Leggett. Picked off here by Fudge. Fudge with it here by the Falcons. Throws it out to the left side. They'll move it around to El Amin. Back to Fudge and inside. Ball is deflected. Fudge still hold on to it. Right corner with the basketball. Now I'll throw it back out in front. Uh, swings it left side. Elmine with it. Elmine may uh, drive him to the left side and looks like he'll travel with it and gives it back now to the Warhawks. Throw it bounds. Here's Leggett with the basketball. Now we'll give it over to Moitz. Back over to Lastly. Here's Howard. Cutting front now, driving right side. Here's a shot up, no good here by Martin. Loose ball, and we're going to have a foul here at midcourt. And that'll be the first team foul here in the second half for the Warhawks. It's for Kenyon Martin, just his first personal foul. Looks like they'll try to get the wet sweat or perspiration off the floor here. So they will throw in the bounds. Here's Fudge with the basketball. Goes over to the left corner. Rolls it over to the right side. Holland, and it's picked away. Leggett with it, now here's Moitz. Moitz takes it across, his shot in front, no good. Martin with the rebound, kicking it back right side. Here's Howard, back over to Martin. Martin with it, now back. Here is a three by Moitz, no good. Rebounded here by Lassie. Lassie puts one up, no good again. Rebounded here. Now they'll take it down the floor. Here's a shot up, no good, and we're gonna foul. Second team foul here by Mount Vernon Nola. Looks like Josh Leggett caught the foul, his first personal foul. So Holland shooting two. First one is no good. <clears throat> He'll have one more free throw attempt. Second one, and this one's good. All in now with nine points. Now it's an eight point lead, 38 to 30. Warhawks with it, lastly. Back over to Leggett. Martin cuts right, now stops. Now Leggett with it again, Leggett shifting. Leggett finds the opening, his three is up and good. Joshua Leggett hits first three tonight. Now it's 38, 33, five point lead now for the Falcons. They'll throw it out to the right side. Now back out the fudge. Bounce pass left side of Swear. Swear jumper is up now for the three point good. That's Swear's first three tonight. Now back to the eight point lead here. Well, Mom Mount Charter 41 33. Here in front, lastly. Now it goes over to Moix. Moix with it. Moix goes up for the shot, no good. Ball tipped away and saved here by Lastly. Now over to Moix. Right wing with the basketball. Here is Howard. He's inside to Martin. 
Marner turnaround fadeaway shot is no good. Rebounded here by Schwer, throws it down the floor. Now they get back to Schwer. Now they move it over to the left side to Fudge. Fudge in the paint. Now throws it over to Schwer. Schwer for a three. No good. Rebounded by El Camin. The El Camin for a jumper. No good again. Loose ball, and now it'll be Moix with it for the Warhawks. Moves it down the floor. Here's Lastly. Now we'll go over to Moix. Moix left baseline. His shot is up and good. But it looks like it will not count as he'll be caught with a charge. Jacob Moix is second personal foul. Third team foul here for the Warhawks. So here's Fudge with it here at midcourt. Pitt throws it out. You know what I mean? Goes up for a shot. No good, and we're going to have a foul. No calls foul against Jasper Lastly. That'll be his, uh, like his first fourth team foul here for the Warhawks. Free throw here is up and good for El Amin. He now has nine. He'll have one more free throw attempt. Next one here is no good. Rebounded here by Pease. Now it'll go inside. Here's a shot up and no good. And El Amin caught with the over the back reach in foul. Looks like that'll be his third. Just the first team foul here in the second half for uh, Maumel Charter. Nine point lead here for Maumel Charter, 42-33. Now with it, he'll throw it across, but picked off. Now here's a layup shot is up and no good. And they're like they're gonna count the basket and they'll call that a tendon call. So it's 44-33 now, 11 point lead here for the Falcons. Now very no throws the ball and bounds to Brantley. Brantley now moves it across here to the midcourt. Brownie cuts right, kicks it out. Here's a three, and good. Made by Joshua Leggett. His second three, he has six. Now it's 44-36, Falcons. I'll throw it out to Square, right corner. Inside of uh, mean, his turn shot is blocked, but it looks like Warhawks caught with the foul. That'll be their 15 foul. Looks like That'll be Kane Martin's second personal foul. Well, that means first free throw attempt is no good. He'll have one more free throw attempt. <laughs> second one, and this one's good. Well, I mean, now with 10. Now it's 45 36. Falcons. Brantley fires the three pointer. Off left side, no good. Rebounded here. Now taking down the floor is Danner. Back over to L. I mean. Now Danner with it, top of the key. So they'll flip it back out. Now they move it around to the right corner. Pease back over to Danner with it. Here's a three. It's up and good. Made by Pease. He now has seven. Now it's 48 to 36. 12 point lead now. One ball mill charter. Here is Adcock. Throws up for a shot. No good. Next one is up and good. Looks like that tip in good for Martin. He has 12. <clears throat> now a 10 point lead here for the Falcons, 48 to 38. Danner now penetrates the lane and the ball's gonna be lost out of bounds. Gives it back to the Warhawks. Looks like Howard will come in the game here for Brantley. <clears throat> so throwing in bounds. 
Here's Howard, now goes to Adcock. Adcock now brings it across here in midcourt. Throws it underneath the goal, but a wild pass. Tended for Lastly, and then gives it back now to Maumel Charter. No swear when the backcourt brings it across. Now throw it over to Pease right corner. Now back to Swear. Pease with it again. Now Danner left wing. He ain't gonna take the shot. Now they'll throw it back away. Pease with it, top of the key. Now they work over to the right side. Now back to Pease. Bounce pass to Danner. Danner for a three-pointer. Too strong that time. Rebounded by Lastly for the Warhawks. Throws it down the floor. Here is Howard. Right side of the go. Now he'll throw it back. And he tried to go back inside, but it will be uh, Falcons basketball. Danner goes up for a shot, and here's a block. As it goes out of bounds by Martin on the block. No foul, still stays with the Falcons. Minute 48 left to go here in the third. For the Falcons, throwing the bounds. Danner with it, now swings it over the left side here to Swear. Now back to Danner. In traffic, and here's a shot up, no good. Rebounded here by Leggett. Leggett with the basketball, takes it down the floor. Swings it over left side. <clears throat> now they give it to Martin. Martin's shot is up, no good. Rebounded by Howard, and Howard puts up a fadeaway shot and good. Howard now with 10. Now eight point lead now for Maumel Charter. Maumel Charter 48 and the Warhawks 40. They'll move it out to the left corner to Danner. Now they go inside deflected. And they say last touch for the Warhawks. Still stays with the Falcons. As they have a substitution coming in for the Falcons. We'll throw it across, Danner with it, away from top of the key. Feeds it to you know, I mean, his shot in front of the goal is no good. Rebounded by Martin. Now he'll give it to Moix. Moix with it down the floor. All the way, right side, no good. The tip in, no good again by Martin. Third try, left side is good here by Jasper Lassley. He has three points. Now a six-point lead now for the Falcons, 48-42. Pays with it, away from top of the key. 30 seconds left to go here in the third. They throw it over the square right side. Square with the basketball. Now they'll go over to the right side now to Daniel. 10 seconds left, here's Pace for a three, no good. Rebounded here by Moix. Moix with the basketball. Up the floor to Lastly. Lastly with the basketball. Hits off his foot out of bounds with 1.2 seconds left, and he'll give it back to the Falcons. Go up on and bounce here to Danner. Danner for a last second shot. It is short, no good, and they'll end the third period. End of three periods of play. Our score here at Warhawks Arena. It is Momo Charter, 48 and Mount Vernon Nola, 42. We'll take this one minute break and be back with your fourth period. This is Mount Vernon Nola Warhawks Boys Basketball on CSN.
back here at Warhawks Arena as we start the uh, fourth period of play as it'll be uh, Falcons basketball and going down the basketball here to Schwer. That third period, it was Mount Vernon only outscoring Maumel Charter 12 to 11. Currently a six point lead here for the Falcons, 48-42. Mount Murray Noah still keeping on their heels pretty close here. Now here's Swear. Now I'm moving over to Fudge. Left corner. Fudge with the basketball. Now with a piece. Now Fudge with it. And Fudge is going to travel with it. And looks like he moved his pivot foot that time. Gives it back now to the Warhawks. Throwing in bounds for them is going to be Moix. Now he'll go over to Leggett. Here's Leggett with the basketball. Brings it across here in midcourt. Cuts left. Leggett for a three-pointer. Good! Joshua Leggett, nice three-pointer. His third one tonight. He has nine points. Just a three-point lead now for the Falcons, 48-45. They'll swing it out left side. Here's a shot up, and no good. Next one here is up and no good again. Ball goes out of bounds, and... It will now belong to the Warhawks. Leggett will throw it in bounds here to Moix. Jacob Moix now with it. Will bring it across the floor. Now goes over to Lastly. Here's Martin. Martin with it. Cuts across. His shot here is up. No good. Howard trying up for the tip in. But now here's the Falcons taking it down the floor. Right side. Here's a shot. Nice block by Martin. But rebound, putting it back in is El Amin. He has 12. We have a official time right here as Howard had to come off the floor as he was injured. And he'll bring in Adcock in his place. 6.32 left to go in this fourth period of play. It is a five-point lead here for the Falcons, 50-45. Uh, throwing the bounds. Here's Leggett with the basketball. Joshua Leggett takes it across the floor. Leggett now cuts the lane. Now he'll give it back to Lastly. Back to Leggett. Leggett left side of the go. His shot is up and good. Joshua Leggett now with 11. Three-point lead here for the Falcons, 50-47. Swear now goes over to Pease. Pease with the basketball. Circling top of the key. Pease cuts over to the right corner. Now they'll give it back to Swear. Inside of Holland. No look pass, but back in the middle Fudge. Fudge for a three. It's off. No good. Rebounded by Martin. Martin now gives it back to Adcock. Adcock takes it down the floor. Adcock left side goes up for a shot. No good, but Adcock is fouled. He'll be at the line shooting two. Committing the foul is going to be Justin Fudge. That's going to be just his third personal foul. The second team foul here in the second half for just Marmel. So Adcock, first free throw is no good. He'll have one more free throw attempt. Second one, and this one's good. Two-point lead now for the e Falcons 50 to 48. Now working with the basketball is Pease, and Pease looks like he's caught with the charge. And for Pease, that's going to be, I think it's just a second personal foul, but it'll be the third team foul for Maumel Charter. Warhawks with the basketball now with 5.38 left to go. Have a chance to try to tie it or take the lead. So I had to get the wet perspiration off the floor here. Looks like we're ready now. Warhawks will throw it in bounds. Adcock gets it now to Moix. Now back to Adcock. Adcock brings it across. Back to Moix. We're backing up with Adcock. Adcock down the floor. 
And we're going to have a bump from behind by El Amin, and he'll commit the foul. That's going to be his fourth tonight. And also the fourth team foul for Maumel Charter. So Adcock will throw in the bounce now. Here's Lashley, right, right wing with it. They'll bounce it inside. Here's Kenyon Martin. His turnaround shot, no good. Rebounded now by Fudge. Well, it looked like it's going to go in, but it jumped up last second. There's a pass down to Pease. Now here is Fudge. Fudge goes up for the shot. It is no good. And we're going to have a foul. They'll call it against Logan Adcock. <clears throat> That's going to be his third. 16 foul for the Warhawks. So the Falcons look to throw it in bounds. They'll throw it back out to Fudge. Fudge with the basketball. Cuts left side. Now, now back to Fudge. Fudge in the lane. Goes up for a jump shot. No good. Rebounded by Lastly. He'll give it now. Up to Martin. Martin crosses over in front. Jumper is up and bounce around a couple times. No good. Rebounded here by L. I mean, he'll bring it down the floor. Cuts over to the right side. It's stripped away. Now here is Moix. Moix takes it down the floor. No look pass. Lastly, his shot is up and good, and looks like Lastly was fouled before the shot. Committing the foul is going to be Bobby Swear. That's going to be his third and the 15th foul for Maumel Charter. Been a heck of a boys game here. Warhawks have been down the whole game and trying to make the shot to take the or uh, tie it up. They go inside now. Now, lastly, lastly loses it. Goes up for another time. Left side. He'll bank it in and good. Jasper lastly now with five, and we're tied up at 50 all here. Here's Fudge. Cuts over right corner. Does it for a shot, no good, and be a traveling here for Fudge, and he gives it back now to the Warhawks. We got a timeout on the floor with four minutes and 17 seconds left to go here in the fourth period, and our score is tied up at 50 all. This is Mount Vernon Nola Warhawks Boys Basketball on CSN. Well back from the timeout. Adcock will look throw on the bounce here to Martin. Now here's Leggett with the basketball. Back to Martin. Now they'll swing it over here to Adcock. No look pass. Lastly underneath. His layup no good. Lastly second try is up. No good, but he's going to be fouled. He'll be at the line to shoot two. For Maumel Charter, that's going to be their 16 foul. Fourth one tonight for Avery Holland. Lastly, first shot here is up, no good. He'll have one more free throw attempt. See if he can get this one to let the Warhawks take the lead here. Remember last week, <clears throat> it was an overtime game. Next free throw here is up, no good. Missing both of them is Lashley. Oh, swing it over right corner. Nanner 
Pease with it, top of the key. Now they move it over left side. Here's a three-pointer, short, no good. Ball stripped away. Now with the basketball is Moix. And they'll swing it over in a pass right in the hands of Leggett. Now Leggett and the Warhawks have a control back once again. Now they go over to Martin. Martin being double teamed. His layup is no good. Rebounded here. Now here comes the Falcons down the floor, kicking it out. Wide open is Fudge. Three is no good. Tipping is no good again. Rebounded by Lastly. Lastly with the basketball. Now gives it to Martin. Feeds it up the floor to Adcock. Adcock takes it down the paint. Goes up for a shot. And Adcock caught with offensive charge once again. And that's going to be his fourth personal foul. Seventh team foul for Mount Bernie Nola. That's going to be just his fourth. I thought it was his fifth when they ran that buzzer, but just his fourth. So Daner will inbound the basketball here to Schwer. Folks are still tied at 50 apiece. Down to three minutes left to go in this basketball game. Danner cuts across. His shot is up and good. Now a two-point lead now for the Falcons, 52-50. to 50. Now Martin with it for the Warhawks. No look pass. Man, and lastly wasn't looking, and it turns it back over to the Falcons. Two forty-six left to go. Here's Swear with the basketball. Swings it over to the right side. Now El Amin goes inside his shot. Short, no good. Rebounded by Leggett. Flips it up the floor. Here comes Brantley. Brantley down the floor. His layup is, oh, no good that time. Too strong on the way in. But he is fouled. He'll be at the line shooting two. From all Mount Charter, that's going to be their seventh team foul. Third tonight for Ronnie Pease. So Brantley at the line shooting two. So far tonight, he just has one three-point three points. First free throw here is good. He has four. He'll have one more free throw attempt. Second one, and this one's good. Brantley now with five. And again, we're tied at 52 all. Budge takes his time, Brandon across her midcourt. As we're coming down to two minutes left to go here in the fourth period. Here's Pease. Flips it back over to Fudge. In traffic, here's you know what I mean. His shot is up and good. He has 14. Back to a two-point lead here for the Falcons, 54-52. Now very no with it. They'll go up to Martin. Martin takes it, and his shot is up no good. Rebounded by the Warhawks, and looks like we're going to have a foul before the shot as uh, Martin got the ball back, but went up, but it looks like he was fouled before he went up for the shot. The Mill Charter, that's going to be their 18th foul. First one tonight for Danner. We'll see if Martin can hit these free throws, folks. So far, Martin with 12 tonight. One and one free throw attempt here is up and good. Martin now with 13. He'll have one more free throw attempt. Second one, good again for Martin. He now has 14 points, and we're tied again at 54 all. Danner brings it across. Pass over the left corner. Here is Pease. Pease with the basketball. Now go over to Swear. Now back to Pease with it. Square with it again. He's inside of Fudge. Shot is up and good. Fudge now with 12 points, and we're going to have a timeout. With 118 left to go here in the fourth period, our score now it is Maumel Charter 56 and Mount Murray Nola 54. This is Mount Murray Nola Warhawks Boys Basketball on CSN.
Back from the timeout, Warhawks will inbound the basketball. Here's Brantley within the backcourt. Now brings her across here in midcourt now. Two-point lead for the Falcons, 56-54. Left side, here's Leggett. Leggett with it, flips it back over to Lashley, and looks like Coach uh, Zarlingo wants another timeout. We will take another one here, a timeout also, with 101 left to go here in the fourth period. Getting our score is Maumel Charter 56 and Mount Vernon Nola 54. This is Mount Vernon Nola Warhawks Boys Basketball and CSN. Back from the timeout, here is Lashley. Jasper Lashley with the basketball, and looks like he's going to be fouled before he went for the uh, shot. So he'll be at the line, uh, shooting a one and one. Looks like that'll be the fourth tonight for Swear. Ninth team foul for Monmouth Charter. One and one free throw here is up and good for Lashley. He now has six points. He'll have one more free throw attempt. If this next one will be tied again. Free throw here is up and good for Lastly. He now has seven and we're tied at 56 all. Under 45 seconds of go here in the fourth period. Well, we're still tied here. We could be going to overtime. That happened to us last week too. Looks like they're gonna take the last shot here. They'll pitch it out left corner. Now back out in front. Now here's Fudge. Back Schwer. Fudge with it. Schwer with the basketball. I'll throw it across. They'll flip it back out left corner. Now Fudge with it. Ten seconds left. Fudge with it. Does it for a shot. No good. Tip in. No good again. Rebounded here. And here is Martin. And he's fouled after coming away with the loose ball. And it'll be a push-off foul with 3.4 seconds. I can't believe that. Shot's no good. Martin grabbed the ball, and he was fouled here at midcourt, pushed from behind. And the Warhawks have a chance to win this game with just 3.4 seconds left. As they call that foul against Fudge, his fourth. Canyon Martin shooting two. First one. Good. Canyon Martin nails that one, and Warhawks have finally taken the lead, 57 to 56. One more. One more free throw attempt, second one. Up, good. Martin nails both of them. He has 16. And the Warhawks retake the lead, 58 to 56 with 3.4 seconds. We will keep it here. Don't want to miss this. But when we... Uh, get back to action after this timeout. It will be Maumel Charters basketball. They have to go the full length of the floor with 3.4 seconds. And right now, Mount Marinoa controls a two-point lead, 58 to 56. Players back on the floor here for Mount Vernon Noah. Big free throw shot by Kenyon Martin. He's the leading scorer tonight for Mount Vernon Noah. 16 points so for him. So up on the ball and bounce here will be Bobby Swear. Bobby Swear. 
There we go for the remainder of these 3.4 seconds. We'll throw in bounds. L.I. Main with it. Down to Fudge. Fudge for a three. And it is no good. It jumps out of the rim. No good. And the Warhawks win the night by a score of 58 to 56. Maumel Charter can't believe it. And the Warhawks survive. And they win 58 to 56 here in the fourth period. A nice job for Maumel Charter. They threw it, Elamine, then he went to Fudge. Fudge threw up the three. It looked like it was going to roll in. It jumped out of the rim, looked like it was going to fall in, but it just barely hit the right side of the rim and barely missed. So Mount Vernon with a big win tonight, 58-56. Right now they have play prayer here at midcourt. So a big win, 58 to 56. And we're gonna to try to get Coach Zarlingo to come over here and get his thoughts about the win. Here you go, Coach, and uh, your thoughts about this crazy game tonight. Your team came from behind and won it at the end on the free throws. Your thoughts about the big win for the Warhawks. Yes, sir, it was a big win. You know, they're not in our blended conference, but it's basically a conference game because they're in our district. Um, those guys fight, they hustle, they want to get every rebound that they can. Um, I guess luck was on our side tonight, get a big foul late. Um, number five, he's a heck of a guard. He gets it down the floor in a hurry, and uh, his shot went about three-quarters of the way in and bounced out. Um, we're lucky to get out of here tonight uh, with that W. But the guys played hard, and they battled back. Well, Coach, I know in that third period it didn't look very good uh they were up by 12 points, and then you slowly chipped and chipped and chipped, and y'all really played a lot better defense in the second half. Well, uh, hats off to these guys. They get up three days a week. Uh, they get up here at uh, 545. They work out. They run. They get shots up. We do fundamentals in the morning. Um, we've got to correct some things defensively and uh, work on our boxing out. But I think uh, once we get it right, it'll be big. Well, Coach, thanks for joining us, and uh, – Congratulations with the win tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's Coach Darlingo, uh, the winning coach for the Mount Vernon Enola Warhawks as Mount Vernon Enola wins it. A thrilling game, 58-56 to 56 over the Maumount Charter Falcons. We'll go ahead and take this uh, two-minute break. When we come back, we'll take a look at some of the final stats and uh, wrap it up. This is Mount Vernon Enola Warhawks boys basketball on CSN.
And back here at Warhawks Arena, before we uh, wrap it up, telling you some of the final stats tonight and scoring. Uh, first of all, for the visitors, for the Maumelle Charter Falcons, their leading score tonight, Brandon and uh, me, and he finished with a total of 14 points, and Justin Fudge with 12 points. Now for the Mount Marinola Warhawks, their leading score tonight, and uh, that is the most important guy, the Canyon Martin, as he hit the two last free throws at the end which gave Mount Murray Noah the lead and held on to win. He finished with a total of 16 points for him. Also in scoring, off the bench, Wayless Howard with 10 points in the double digits. Jacob Moix had a pair of three-pointers in the field with eight points. Josh Leggett, a big part for him, as he had three three-pointers and a field with 11 points. Jasper Lastly, a good game for him. He finished with seven, and Ethan Brantley finished with five. Well, a big win for the Mount Vernon Nola Warhawks, and I know they have to be a lot to look excited for. It was a hard-fought win as they were behind every um, – at the end of the first period, didn't look so bright to them, but they closed in on the lead, and it was only a seven-point lead at the half for uh, Maumel Charter. Third period, it, it Maumel Charter started getting some momentum, and they were up by 12 points, but Mount Vernon Nola came back. And they were just down by the start of the fourth period of play and finally in the fourth quarter, they just started making great stops on defense and hitting the shots when they needed. And a congratulations to the Mount Vernon Nola Warhawks. So we hope you enjoyed tonight's basketball games and senior girls and senior boys action. Tonight's Mount Vernon Nola Warhawks boys basketball has been brought to you by Lastly Farms, by the Nola General Store, by Axles Plus, and by Mount Vernon Feed and Stuff. This is Josh Harris saying once again our final score tonight. It was the Mount Vernon Ola Warhawks 58 and the Maumelle Charter Falcons 56. So long from Warhawks Arena at Mount Vernon Enola High School. This has been a presentation of the Creative Sports Network.